SF's 2024 Science Behind event. I'm Brownfield's Megan Grebner. With us is Mark Kugler. Mark, we're going to talk a little bit about seed selection when it comes to making plans for the upcoming growing season, although that's right around the corner. What's the most important thing that farmers need to know about seed and making sure they're planting the correct crop in the right spot? Yeah, it's a great question, Megan. So uh, this was an exciting event for me today just to be able to focus on soybeans. Um, you know, I think in the U.S., especially in the Midwest, farmers don't really view themselves as soybean growers. They're kind of corn growers first. And so that's a bit of a mindset that we're trying to change in the in the Midwest is is really to elevate soybeans to that to that level um, where we can really start to maximize the production. And so one of the things that we look at, the most important decision that a farmer makes with respect to soybean production is the actual variety that they select and plant, right? And so that's the most important thing. We see that year after year. If that decision is the wrong decision and the wrong variety gets placed on a field, it can mean up to 20 or 30 bushels of yield that they're that they're losing. And so really seed selection is the most important thing with respect to soybean production. When we talk about seed selection and we talk about productivity and production and yield in general, how important is it to have not only selecting the right genetics or the right types of traits, but also making sure that you're using those types of digital tools that can help complement those decisions. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing that we're starting to look at is, is what we call the yield triangle. And so really there's three components to the to the soybean yield triangle. Uh, it's genetics, which you what you mentioned. It's the environment and it's management. And so those three things really are what contribute at the end of the day to the, the final yield. And one of the things that we look at at BASF is genetics and the diversity of the genetics. So even though that we're new, so to speak, to soybean breeding, we started our program in 2012, we're certainly not behind uh, by any means. And so what we saw and what we are focused on is bringing in multiple sources of new material. And a lot of other programs are still working with the same material that they've had for 40 or 50 years. And so we've really diversified the sources of genetic material and we're seeing step changes in yield, specifically within the Zatavo brand. The other component of that yield triangle is the environment. A lot of people just consider the weather with the environment. We go a little bit deeper and we really try to focus on the actual micro environment of that specific field. And what are the attributes of influence to yield within that field, like pH, organic matter, slope, uh, water holding capacity, et cetera. And so we really try to match the variety to the field and understanding how a variety likes to partition its yield uh, can help us determine which variety to plant in which field. And the last component is really that management piece. It's the piece that the farmers have probably the most control of, you know, outside of which variety they select. And so what we're trying to do is really promote earlier planting. Uh, we've seen actually planting dates have increased over the last 40 years in the U.S. Uh, but when you do that, when you plant, say, mid-April versus mid-May, that can be up to a 10 bushel swing. We see about half a bushel a day after after that second or third week of April by delaying planting. So we're trying to get farmers to think about actually planting their soybeans before their corn. When you look at that change in production mindset, it's always been a focus on corn and really maybe hyper-focus on that production. Yeah. How difficult has it been to get farmers to switch that mindset and embrace the same type of mindset when it comes to raising soybean? Yeah, I say it, it has been a challenge. I think, um, you know, one of the things that, that farmers are starting to embrace, however, is is technology, right? Uh, we see that in, in a lot of different areas, not, not just agriculture, but uh, one of the things that, that is really exciting is some of the new digital tools that BASF is bringing to market through Zarbio Field Manager. Uh, there's actually a component within Zarbio Field Manager called Seed Select um, that's really enhancing our ability to select the right variety for the right for the right acre, and kind of taking the guesswork out of that for the retailer that's selling that that farmer the seed. 
If folks want to learn more about Zarvio or they want to learn more about some of the management and some of the offerings that BASF has for soybeans, what's the best way for them to do so? Yeah, I encourage all farmers to talk to their BASF authorized retailer. They could go to our website at BASF.com, uh, ZatavoSoybeanSeeds.com. Uh, lots of information on, uh, on the internet uh, about our products and services. Mark, anything else? That's it. From Houston, I'm Megan Grebner for Brownfield.